and welcome to this Hessing tutorial. Um, I will teach the inputs on a chew Hess on a sign, and then I will explain how backwall Hessing works with bombs and also with chews. And I will give uh, some general tips also about um, how to maneuver your Hessing. Okay, so let's start learning the inputs. Uh, there's quite a bit of inputs, so I'll go step by step. I think that makes it quite easy. So, you start by holding target, and uh, whether it's a bomb or a chew, you're going to be pressing R to drop it. After you press R, uh, hold it. Because otherwise, on the first release frame, you can't roll. And there's no reason why you shouldn't be holding it. So you hold R, and then you press A. You want to be careful for the distance between your R and A press. You want to put two or three frames. On the second frame, the shield is fully up, and then they all look the same. So you make the shield fully up for a little bit, and then you roll. Once you're done with that, you want to implement holding ESS during the roll. So right after you're done pressing A, you input ESS. So right now, look at the numbers that are right over there. ESS is between 8 and 26. So the in-between is going to be 17. If you have the practice room, try to get used to holding it around 17, being down, right, or left. 17 is your friend. OK, so right now, we're inputting ESS during the roll. Get used to that for a little bit. And then what you want to do is release, release ZNR basically right after you input ESS, or you could do it at the same time. It's the same window for doing those two things, inputting ESS, releasing ZNR. And it should look like this. This is the big thing in Hessen. So take a little moment, do it a little bit. Once you're feeling comfy with that, then you can get in front of the pole. I think it's way easier to learn it on a sign because you don't have to care about timings. It's just going to blow up, whatever. So you can start practicing from here. If you do it correctly, this should happen. I'm using left, by the way. Let's see what right does. Not very interesting. Okay, which mistake you could do is like rolling too soon will take half a heart. If you take damage, you can't Hess. It's not going to go backward. If you roll too late, you also take a damage and the Hess won't work. So that's why the distance between R and A is important. You need to focus on that for a little bit. So get used to doing this. It sounds really cool. It does. Uh, 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 uh. Basically, the frames that Link is screaming on are the frames that you're going to be aiming for in the next step. So uh, the next step is. All right. So I just pressed A, I'm during the roll, so during the roll I'm supposed to input ESS and then release CNR. So let's say I'm done with all that, I input ESS. This is the first hit frame. So now you can see your window to input ESS and release CNR. It's between your A press and the first hit frame. This is the first hit frame. It doesn't work for the HES. This interrupts your roll and helps you set up the ESS thingy that's going to keep your speed. So this frame is second hit frame and it usually works for uh, Hessing. Uh, with this sign it's a bit finicky, some of those don't work. This is third hit frame, it also usually works for Hessing. And this is fourth hit frame. Uh, it can work. 
for Hessing, definitely. So let's see if it does. Press Z and R on the same frame. Yeah, it does. Okay, the important thing now, and the reason why I put the camera, is that you want to be really careful of pressing Z and R exactly at the same time. So, you are holding shield. You roll, input ESS, blah blah blah. And during that, you release ZNR at the same time, and then you repress them at the same time. So you really have a motion of... You do them both together, like they're friends. So this is really important. This is gonna help you not mess up and end up like going forward has and not understanding why because you could be aiming for the perfect frames if you do z then r or r then z it will go forward so once you're ready for it you can start hessing it may take a little bit at first but don't worry with time it just comes uh, one more thing. Let's get against the wall. All right. When you are hessing, there is something you want to be aware of, is that usually the one figure that you want to be around 17, so the one that is keeping the ESS, is your down input. So it's the second figure, the one on the right. It's the one that is always going to be on ESS, and then I'm going to switch to down right and down left to decide where Link is going to turn when I release Z. So if you want to Hess and do angle changes, that's what you want to keep in mind. Your down input must stay on ESS, and then you're traveling a straight horizontal line right and left. Cool. That's a lot at first, so do it step by step, okay? Get used to the inputs, and then it will just come naturally. Okay, I'm now in Lon Lon Ranch because it is very flat, so it's a really nice spot to practice uh, back wall casting. So I will be starting explaining it for choose and then I'll go over to bombs. For this one you're going to have to count the flashes. So let's count flashes on a chew. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Basically you want to be careful of five, six, seven. With the same rhythm as five, six, seven you're going to imagine that there's an 8, okay? Where is that going to put you? I'm going to show you. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And look, I'm on full blue. And after full blue, normally, how much do I need to get to full red? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so there is supposed to be five, but after this full blue, so five, six, seven, then it goes blue, it's red instantly, instead of being five. So let's say one, two, three, five. So that's about there that you wanna be using your shield, but it's hard to count fast flashes. So you can just uh, remember it like that. Five, six, seven, eight, and Instead of saying 8, you press R. Then, as I said earlier, you want to aim for 2 or 3 frames so that you roll. I'm going to go for 2 here. And put ESS. Release ZNR. First hit frame. Second should work. And then maybe third, usually third too. And fourth is an option depending on when you rolled and everything so you want to be starting to read some frame data at this point okay i'll put you guys some links i counted those frames so bueno 
So you're gonna see where you're supposed to aim and why you should be spacing RNA. So let's see if I'm an idiot or not. Okay, this is actually a S. So the idea here is that basically um, the moment that I press R is gonna set my distance to the explosion. If I press R really early, the explosion is going to be further in front of me. If I press R really late, the explosion is going to be really, really, really close to me. So when you're using bombs, instead of setting your position by when you pressed R and A, because it would just do a backflip, what is going to happen is that you're going to drop the bomb and then release down. And what's gonna set your position to the explosion is the distance between you pressing R and you releasing down, okay? If you release down too quick, you're really too close to the bomb. If I had pressed A, it would've probably picked it up. So for the bomb, that's kind of the thing. Like, you wanna be setting up your position uh, with the release. I suck at bombs. I just don't like it too much. But yeah, and then you're gonna be ending up having kind of the same roll frames as Chu, so you have like five roll frames, plenty of ZNR frames. It's really lenient. Hess is not a very precise trick, like don't see it like that. Um, but the thing you're gonna have to get used to is uh, a little bit of a when it actually works. I'm really shit with bombs. Alright, I got one at least. So yeah, you know everything and you are able to read frame data, so that's what you want to be doing for those two standing hesses. Um, honestly, I think Chu is easier, but overall you have the same amount of things to deal with. Alright, so that's it for uh, the Hess tutorial. Um, I hope it helps. Go step by step. Don't try to learn it too quick. Um, make sure you learn clean inputs so that then you build muscle memory that actually works. You know, and you'll get faster at doing those inputs later on. Don't worry about that. Do it too slow for a while. And uh, yeah, it's a very lovely trick. It's my favorite trick. And uh, it's, it's such a cool mechanic that you have to do something during it. So it doesn't feel too much like just a piano trick. All right. Um, yeah, if any questions, put it in comments and I'll try to help. See you guys. Ciao, ciao.